Okay, everybody. I am in the garage working on the um, boat tonight, and I really wish I was flying. If you haven't seen my other videos, I also fly, and um, when the weather's like this, calm and beautiful, I love to go flying because it's not good for sailing, and when it's good for sailing, it's not good for flying. I got my mast, whoops, sorry, got my mast all glued up the other day, uh, started shaping it, there's a, a slight taper from about here down to the base, and as you can see, it does taper all the way to the masthead, and it's kind of rough shaped, there's some sanding I need to do. You can still kind of see some high spots um, glued together. The whisker pole, the bumpkin is uh, glued together and I started shaping that. It tapers down on the end. This is the spirit boom, which is kind of weird. It's, it's really small. It's like three quarter by three quarter, but I guess it doesn't take much to hold the, the uh, y'all sail out where it belongs. And this is just a short video because I have sort of went to all the mast and the, uh, yeah, all the masts and the boom building because I kind of got stuck at a point on the boat where I've got a lot of, a lot of bad buildup, um, epoxy buildup. I didn't. Put it down very smooth on the inside on my joints um, and what you see there is just some attempt at sanding and grinding and of course when you use just this this type of sandpaper on a disc or even a bigger sanding pad friction kind of heats up the epoxy it softens it up it gums up the sanding pad and you're like throwing hundreds of sanding pads away every few minutes so I scratch my head what to do what to do okay switch gears start working on my booms and my masts but during my shower renovation I had to drill some holes in the porcelain and this here is a I think an inch and three-eighths inch and three-eighths hole saw, diamond diamond bit hole saw. And it works wonders on this epoxy. And I do have to get a little bit smaller diameter to get into these tight spots. And on Amazon, they've got some very inexpensive, hopefully not super cheap, hole saws. The reviews... Most of them say they're pretty decent. A few people say, I only got one hole drilled and had to throw it away. It was junk. But I'm not drilling porcelain. I'm just grinding down epoxy buildup. So, uh, you know, lesson learned. Don't put down more epoxy than you care to sand away. And, uh, you know, for the most part... Some of my uh, epoxy that I put down is fairly smooth, um, but I didn't realize I'd have so much trouble grinding or sanding it off. But I'll go ahead and order those uh, cheap hole saw sets from uh, Amazon. They've got like from quarter inch diameter up to like inch and a half. There's like six or eight of these hole saws for like 15 bucks. They're diamond coated and it should do the trick with uh, cleaning up all this epoxy and then I can get to fiberglassing the bottom of this and continue with the actual hole. And so that's it for tonight. Like I said, I'd much rather be flying. It's a beautiful night out here in Georgia and hope to either see you on the water or in the air. All right, take care.